Did you know that 67% of ghosted leads aren't actually gone forever? Actually interacted with some, some of your product offer or service, like whether it was a lead magnet or something else, so they actually came in through an ad, but they didn't actually take action, right? Like they didn't move forward with some of the part of the conversation with you. Now, here's the thing. Ghosted leads don't actually mean that they're not interested in doing something. They might just not be interested in doing something right now, right? So if somebody is ghosting you, you have to understand the fact that like you played some part of that. And like a lot of people have a hard time like really understanding that and admitting to it. But like chances are they were interested in something, but like you either went for the sale too quick or like you didn't go for the sale quick enough or it wasn't something they were really looking for or it wasn't something that really aligned with them, right? Because at the end of the day, like you are offering something to a cold market. Like, what does that look like, right? If you're immediately not even giving me value and then automatically push me to something like that's gonna be something I consider for myself, like even as a buyer myself, right? So here's the thing. A lot of people think that ghosted leads are people that really aren't interested in what they do, right? But if you think about it, if people are consistently coming into your conversation, right? And they're entering into the space of which like you did something to get their attention, they have some interest, like they're going to buy from somewhere, like whether it's today, tomorrow, or, you know, three weeks from now, they're going to buy from somewhere. And like your ability to keep that conversation in momentum is actually going to be a really big deal in how you actually make sure somebody doesn't ghost you, right? You want to give them leverage, but only enough leverage that you don't actually reduce your status in the process. So like, what does that look like? If somebody wants to hop on a call and they're not really confirming the call, then you drop the call on them. Like that's not somebody that you want to keep because they're consistently just pushing you on. But like somebody that like interacted with something, didn't really have a conversation, you never really got a chance to understand like what their pain point was, continue to go after them for their pain point. Like find out like what was the reason that you took some action but not all action. Like look for it as a feedback loop opportunity, right? And like frame it up like that. Like it's a really simple ask. Like, hey, so that you grabbed our lead magnet, was it something that you weren't really interested in, right? Like frame it up so they have a reason and incentive to answer. Um, because you could also be like, Hey, like if that training really wasn't something that's for you, if I could better understand where you're at currently inside of your business, like I'd love to send you a, a revised training or a revised product or a revised offer free of charge, just to make sure that you get the value that you were looking for in the beginning. Right. Because that's the thing that most people miss is that they don't understand that the conversation could be spinning different ways. Right. So if you went for speed to lead and you didn't make a connection and some time has gone by and you've tried two or three times to actually get that connection, you haven't gotten an outright no from this person. Right then figure out shifting it to a feedback loop conversation. One of the ways that I've actually talked about before that are really, really super important are you want to make sure that you re-engage those leads. And sometimes you can really just ask the question, like when enough time goes by, sometimes you can actually just ask the question very simply and get a real good answer out of it. You send a personalized message actually starting with the question name is specific goal, something that you're still looking for, right? This allows you to figure out like, Hey, is that a pain point? Is that something that's still actually going on inside of your business, inside of your space that you want to actually figure out an answer to? So instead of going through a feedback loop, you can actually just go through an additional conversation. You can add urgency, which is really scarcity, create some sense of urgency. I only have two slots left. This, I only have two slots left this week. I want to make sure that one of them actually can go to you. If that's something that you're looking for. Offer of value is another one. You reframe to highlight a benefit. Like, hey, there's this new feature. I want to see if it's something that really aligns with something that you're looking for. And you just automate the follow-up, right? Really simple plan to automate the follow-up and just keep it going on sync. But the thing is, is that if you have to move to a feedback loop, it's really important to remember that like, hey, if you're going to go to a feedback method, like it's 100% fine because at the end of the day, like ghosted will probably close and convert better than cold email. And that's, that's like a, a, a conversation that people aren't really ready to have. Like cold email typically converts at like one to 3%, but like those people have never actually interacted with you in the first place. And ghosted lead has at least taken some action inside of your ecosystem to have a conversation. So when I say feedback, well, you want to make sure that you really excel in this. And this is something that we do inside of Rev Capture. It's just, we want to understand what was it about what we gave you that didn't really work out. Right. And you frame it up like that. It's more of a customer experience play because by doing that, right? Like if this, if these methods don't work, if those four that I just gave you do not work, then figuring out what it looks like to get into a feedback conversation, right? Like allow them to give you the input because number one, you can get some valuable insight from it. And it's really important to figure out like where your thing is disconnecting because if you have a really big amount of ghosts and leads, chances are there's probably something that you are doing wrong. And even if you're converting enough to hide the fact that those ghosts and leads exist, right? You might be like covering it and throwing it under the rug, but at the same time, like you want to figure out like how to capitalize on some of those, right? So many people are trying to like push for new leads and like cold email, cold DM and everything. But like these people came into your ecosystem already. Like chances are they have an interest in doing what you do. They just don't understand or haven't made the right angle connection that you are actually doing the thing that they're looking for. So you can actually provide that just by giving them that feedback sense. Here's the thing. 
you have to be willing to have the conversation. You have to be willing to go after your, your ghost lead, right? Like I said, if they came in through your CRM, then that's something you're going to need to figure out how to actually move inside of a conversation with them. If you want it completely done for you, this is something that we do at Rev Capture. If it makes sense, right? Drop a comment below or go to the link directly in the bio and we can have a discussion about what reality looks like. We have different platforms depending on how many KPIs you want us to handle, but Ghost of Lead campaigns is something that we actively do and pursue, right? And it's something that's worked for us, right? Because again, this converts so much better than cold email. It's such a forgotten piece of like what is actually possible when it comes to like spending money on ads or like even doing cold calls or things like that. As long as you have a, a, a semi up-to-date CRM, like it's something that can be easily figured out on like what it looks like to actually get productive inside of this. So definitely drop a comment or go to the website and see what it looks like. And then we'll talk from there.